Hello, my name is Leo Eng, and I'm an engineer in the Simscape Libraries team. Fuel cells are a promising power source for an electric aircraft because of the high energy density of hydrogen and the short refueling time. It has the potential to open up new applications, such as air taxi services that require quick turnaround time. To evaluate this technology, you will need to consider a wide range of system and component level questions, like what's the efficiency, what's the response time, what's the current voltage characteristic, and so on. Having a model of the system with the right amount of detail in each part is essential to answering these questions quickly and thoroughly. Simscape is the best tool to build complex multi-domain models at varying levels of detail. In this presentation, I will show you how you can build up a polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cell model from a simple component to a full stack. Simscape lets you create an intuitive model that matches the physical representation of your system. For an electric aircraft, the system might consist of a power source, electronics, motors, and actuators. From this physical architecture, you can expand each subsystem with only the details that you need. For the power source, the lowest fidelity model is an ideal voltage source. There is no information about the underlying technology, and your analysis at this point are focused on other parts of the system. Now let's add the first level of detail. You can start by replacing the voltage source with a basic fuel cell block that models the voltage current characteristic of a fuel cell, like the one shown in this plot. The characteristic comes from the Nernst electrochemistry equation and internal voltage losses that you can implement in a Simscape component block. With this model, you can design the electronics in the system, like the DC to DC converter that regulates the voltage. You can also investigate a hybrid system with fuel cells and batteries combined. This model lets you iterate quickly because you do not need to worry about the gas flow, humidity, and heat dissipation. When you decide to investigate in more depth, you can then add more details. The first step is to add the fluid network for the hydrogen from the fuel tank to the anode, and the fluid network for the air mixture from the environment to the cathode. You will also need to add the stoichiometric equations to the fuel cell block to model the consumption of hydrogen and oxygen and the production of water vapor. With this higher fidelity model, you can design a compressor and a controller to deliver enough air to the cathode to meet the current demand. You can also study the fuel cell dynamics by applying a step current demand and measuring the response of the voltage produced and the oxygen utilization. The next step is to model water transport across the fuel cell membrane by adding the equations for diffusion and electroosmosis. This is important because the electrical resistance of the membrane is higher the drier it gets. Therefore, using this model, you can design the humidifiers to maintain the optimal humidity in the fuel cell. The last detail is to model heat generation based on the calorific value of the hydrogen fuel minus the amount converted to electrical energy. Thermal management is important because higher temperatures allow for better efficiencies but will dry out the membrane. Therefore, you will need to design a cooling system to dissipate heat, which can have its own level of detail. For example, you can start with basic thermal conduction and thermal conduction blocks, and then switch to a liquid cooling model with a pump and a radiator that exchanges heat with the environment. Finally, you will need to assemble many fuel cells into a stack to produce the required voltage and current for your application. As an approximation, you can simply scale up the equations in the fuel cell block by the number of cells. For the most detailed analysis, you can use the new Simscape component array feature to construct a fuel cell stack out of individual fuel cell blocks to explore different series and parallel configurations. This model lets you track the distribution of temperature and gas concentration within the stack, so you can feed more precise data after your system analysis to fine-tune performance, conduct a fault analysis, train a predictive maintenance algorithm, and more. In summary, I have used the fuel cell as an example to show how Simscape enables you to model complex multi-domain systems at varying levels of detail, so you can have the most appropriate model at every stage of your development process.